This is X of Agile Practitioners and today with me is Piotrek, Jarek and I am Basia and uh, the topic of today's meetings is uh, transparency. So, why are we transparent? Well, um, we need transparency to learn. For everyday work we are knowledge workers, we are developers, so um, we need to catch up and uh, we need to learn on examples, on real examples. We need to have a source of, of inspiration from others, from other teams. Financial bot, of course, also on Slack. Because every day at nine, um, all company gets information, fresh information about uh, financial results. Yeah, it's important it's because it's on a, a very public channel named Crew. Yeah. So really everyone gets notification. So this is like a summary, as you see, this is a summary of, um, of uh, finance, uh, like a revenue, like a, a profits and uh, uh, how, how long we, we, how much cash do we have and how, how long uh, we can live, we call it. And you may ask why, we, why do we present the financial information to the whole company? Uh, we have so many um, information available that hiding financial results would be just weird. It's not about our goals, but this is this is a, just another measurement uh, how we how we uh, how we are. Next topic: sprint summary. Um, we also put our sprint summary on Slack channel. Of course, open Slack channel. So sprint summary for me, it's uh, the most important function is uh, sort of uh, organizational health check. Because if a team uh, is publishing um, its sprint summaries, then it opens itself to the whole organization. Uh, the team can receive feedback from anyone in the organization but uh, it also provides everyone in the, in the organization an opportunity to learn, um, to learn uh, how the team solved the problems the team had or uh, how they approached the risks they had. Um, and that's very, very valuable. Yeah, but uh, besides that, uh, also other teams can help. So it's, uh, it's not only learning, but it's uh, helping in, in, in some cases. The next one, the next one is product board. Uh, probably we will show it to you somewhere here. Uh, so um, the product board is um, is a tool which we use in our engineering circle. It is uh, is being used not only in engineering circle, so not only Scrum masters are using it because it's a uh, uh, it's available for everyone. Um, there are several screens across the offices uh, where you can actually see what what's the health of the product development. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you can see a lot of um, useful information. <laughs> <laughs> useful information. <laughs> Yeah, like but, yes. um, the, the teams, the, the, the product spot presents uh, teams health and that helps us to focus on uh, teams that might need support um, in, in any of, of the monitored areas like uh, predictability of, of delivery, like quality, like team morale, like uh, customer client satisfaction. And the product board, as you see, it's, it's all about the numbers and indicators. Yeah. And you have the perspective from the previous sprints, like in sprint goal you, you can see the previous free one and uh, in productability I think it's previous six Yeah, but the sprints. Product, uh, product board is, uh, is pretty fascinating at least for us and uh, yeah, if you want us uh, we can tell uh, a little bit more and uh, a little bit more detailed about it. Yeah, the next special episode maybe about product board. Yeah. Open Slack channels. Uh, because this is the part of our culture. We are distributed. We have one team in Gliwice and the second one in Warsaw. And we have customers uh, around all the world. So we need a good tool for communication. That's why we choose, ch uh, we choose Slack. And that's why we decided to have all channels open. Yeah, and you can use uh, Slack or whatever tool uh, in, in different uh 
in different ways. But um, actually, we have this policy that uh, uh, that everything, every channel is transparent. Uh, so this is because we we believe that uh, knowing a context and if every everyone knows the context. Uh, he can uh, he can choose one can choose uh, uh, better decisions. There are some sensitive uh, data, uh, and therefore we we have some some closed channels. Uh, but in order to be transparent with the uh, with the closed uh, channels, we we have a list of them and uh, the purpose. So to sum up, um, this is not all the tools which we use to be transparent, but we think that this might be the most important one, and. Um, and? <laughs> and yes, if you if you think uh, if you would choose one thing uh, which is the most important uh, in agile, we would choose uh, transparency. Maybe you have some questions regarding anything we said, or uh, um, any further questions regarding how transparency works in in, in our organization. Then just just please uh, post your questions. Yeah. Leave us a comment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leave us a comment. Respond.